The other thing that I haven't mentioned is that the story of the first person and the jaw, the narrative might not be over. We've discussed sampling um, from that specimen because we don't know which strain of bubonic pl plague came to the island in the summer of 1920. We think it's the one that came um, from the third pandemic, um, which hit San Francisco. It came from China in 1894 through the trade ships, and it's worked its way um, throughout the sort of natural fauna and flora down to Galveston. Um, but we don't know. And given we know the date and time of death of the first person to die of bubonic plague, we can map it onto the known sort of genomic mm. sequence. But obviously the ethical and legal reasons if we're going to sample because we're going to have familial DNA. But from what I gather, the, um, the process of selecting different cells, et cetera, are really precise now. So you could avoid familial DNA. So the story of the first person might not be over. So these historical antiquities, their stories might not be over yet, which is endlessly fascinating, don't you think? And can breathe new life not really meant as a pun to these collections that are at risk in terms of conservation or need to be rehoused or they're not being actively used for teaching research. So to utilize some of those collections for contemporary research, working with um, colleagues in the Galveston National Lab could only be a positive, I feel, for the collections.